Hi everyone and welcome to another shaving video. Um, in this particular shave I'm going to be using um, just as a, I don't know, lately I've been thinking a lot about a good friend of mine, Steve Farragher, who's in, as a lot of you know, uh, especially I put a, uh, some updates on Facebook as uh, to how he is and this is the day after his triple bypass operation, it's Friday the 14th of March 2014 today and I spoke earlier to his partner Sheila and he felt a bit groggy uh, that could be due to the medication plus if you've just been opened here and had major heart surgery you'd feel groggy <laughs> the next day I think and maybe for a few days but um, he was sitting up in a chair and uh, that's got to be a good sign hasn't it so um, all the best to Steve you may watch these videos uh, and read the um, good wishes and from people on Facebook as he's in hospital as he feels better to do so you know so what I'm doing today is I'm going to use the big shave you know out of respect for him the big shave scuttle as you can see and as you can see there peeking out the top my new Amiga brush and I must say I'm using Arco soap I put a couple of lumps of Arco soap in the bottom there and there's a good ridge on this big shave scuttle and it really lathers up and this is how it all started uh, for me watching Steve using the Arco soap in his uh, shaving bowl and getting lathers like this and thinking you know wow how, <laughs> I want some <laughs> But I must say, this brush, this Amiga brush, uh, it softens up, you know, it's quite a stiff brush, but I soaked it for a few minutes in hot water, and it softened up lovely, but the smell is horrendous. So, that calls for some action, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two or three drops of tea tree oil, this is the proper stuff, if you remember I did a video on it, um, well I mentioned it yeah so I'm going to just put a couple of drops of this into the soap and um, for those that don't know it's like an antiseptic property to this um, tea tree oil 100% and it may not make any difference, but it will certainly, yeah, that's better. That's got rid of the smell. And of course, the oil is good for your skin, especially if you suffer from sensitive skin. Anyhow, don't talk so much, Paul. Okay, as you can see, don't do many lathering up uh, videos, because I normally do this off the camera, you know, to save time. But as you can see now, peaked. Lovely. That's the new Omega brush with a blue handle. And I've forgotten the number of it. Anyway, you know which one I mean. And I'm going to be using my Parker 22R with this beautiful, well, similar to a barber pull, but it's gunmetal, uh, good heavyweight. And for the price of these, you can't go wrong. There's uh, two days growth here. And I'll be using... Gillette 7 o'clock super stainless in there as you can see and close that up and uh, I've just come out of the shower actually and um, right I can smell this tea tree oil Arco soap has a unique smell of its own but obviously now because I put this tea tree oil in it smells of tea tree oil <laughs> yeah very disinfectanty smell which I don't mind it'll do my skin good especially if you've got pimples and which I haven't but if you have I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm 
Yeah, it's quite a... No, I take it back. Has a bit of a mentholy property. I can s smell the fumes of the tea tree oil. This brush, I thought was going to be very, very stiff. Well, it is stiffer than normal, but it's uh, really softened up more than I thought it would. Lovely. Okie dokie, on to the first pass. Hear the audio. Very nice. Now, as you may or may not know, this razor, the Parker 22R, has no adjustable settings it's a standard razor non-aggressive and this butterfly opening I own a few um, Parker razors. And I always have a decent shave from them, fair play. Would I recommend this as a, a new, you know, someone to starting off in DE shaving? Yes, I would. It's a non aggressive razor, but don't be mistaken, you know, if, uh, if someone does say non-aggressive, it doesn't mean you can just, you know, forget about it. You've got to show any, anything with a blade in it, respect. And, but um, it's not in shaving terms. Once you get used to shaving with a double-edged razor, it's not an aggressive razor and I can certainly smell this tea tree oil that's made a big difference if you have a new brush I've never had that before where a brush smells I don't know what it is it could be because it's a bristle ball mm, could be the ball couldn't it but uh, I've never had a, a brush smell like that before. But there's a little tip for you. Put some tea tree oil in it. And of course it'll do me good because it'll disinfect my skin. Because I can, there's a sort of a not menthol. It's like the palm olive, you know, with the palm extract with the eucalyptus. It's a sort of mentholy. You can sort of smell. Well, it's a similar thing, isn't it? A tea tree oil, but um, it's a much nicer smell. Than the the smell that brush was giving off. That's lovely. Second pass. The Gillette seven o'clock blade performing very well. Uh, that is not an aggressive blade either, in my opinion. Um, just another thing as well. I get a lot of people asking. 
and you know thank you for coming to me with questions you know I feel honoured that people feel you know good enough to come and ask me these things um, it's uh, it's quite humbling actually it's just but um, people say what would I class as a they want to buy blades or they want to you know what would I class as sharp and not sharp and uh, anybody can give you an idea for example like a feather blade is classed as a sharp blade uh, in general but if I said to you um, Astra is sharper than Derby Derby is sharper than Astra whatever you know a lot of times you're not going to agree with it because your beard growth is going to be different to me I could have a thin beard growth you could have a thick beard growth so therefore what's sharp say I said the Astra was oh sharp sharp you try the Astra and you think well, not really it's clogging up here it's not very so the Astra or the Derby would be better so everybody's different you need to try a few blades uh, people can give you an idea like I've always said the Wilkinson sword is a middle of the road uh, blade and it's always done me well in whatever razor it's been in um, but that could be just me you see my skin type my beard type and the only way I found these things out is by using them and trying them and it takes time you know it isn't and there's something nice about trying different things and this is all part of it but of course I help anybody I can if I know the answer but um, things like that can vary for different people you know if you understand what I mean and I'll tell you something I'm going to use tea tree oil, well not more often but more than I have done because uh, I don't know I feel um, with having it on my face I know it's there and as I say it's giving this sort of a fume mentally effect which sort of clears your nostrils and you feel fresh and clean like you've uh, like clinically clean and it really sort of makes for a lovely shave actually I feel fantastic <laughs> uh, I don't know is this shaving getting into my head right I just rinse off oh. so there's a little tip for you there if you have a new brush that uh, smells as horrendous as that did when it was wet for the first time which I say I've never experienced before in any new brush I've used before but these things happen it's a ball brush so you know it can happen uh, put a bit of tea tree oil or something you know any essential oil I suppose with a scent to it and that took the smell away and it's disinfected my skin and it feels lovely that shave using the Parker 22R non-adjustable just as it is retail about 20 odd pounds heavyweight good quality lovely design gunmetal this one used it many times butterfly opening used a Gillette seven o'clock super stainless blade a new one and then uh, of course we come to the to the big shave shaving scuttle no water in it this time didn't need it and there's good ridges if you can see there see the lines on the edge of the bowl and when you've got hard soap like the arco it does a great job and a, quite a stiff brush really gets into there and mixes the old soap up into a lovely creamy lather as you can see there 
Um, the brush done fantastically well. It's softer than I thought. Soaked it for a few minutes in hot water. Started to smell when I put it in the soap. Um, so then I added about three drops of tea tree oil and that took the smell away and god that feels good and I've got um, well I did have sensitive skin but I've, the way I shave now I don't have it because um, no pressure on the blade on the razor I've learned um, the oil there did a fantastic job obviously adds more more of a film to your face, a sleekness, a, a silkiness, um, a barrier, and helps the blade glide. Right, enough talking. I'm going to use Arco Action. Lovely scent on this. But of course, at this stage, you don't have to use cologne. That's lovely, lovely, lovely. You can use cold water, which does the same thing. And it's all Arco today. Arco cream. Lovely. That is lovely, lovely, lovely. So thanks for watching. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe enjoy the chat, shave. Uh, first use of my new brush, or one of them. I'm very pleased with it. Lovely size. Um, it was softer than I thought it was going to be on the first shave. So that means it'll only get better. But as I say, this particular one give off, when it was wet, give off a horrendous smell, like um, a rotten smell, you know, a weird thing. But a couple of drops of tea tree oil sorted the smell out, and also, as I say, give my face a bit of a disinfecting, which is good. And that's it, and I dedicate this video to a good friend of mine, Mr. Steve Farragher, with all my best wishes, and I'm sure the 1,500 odd on Facebook and all his followers on YouTube wish him a very, very speedy recovery. He's over the worst now, he's been through the op, and it's only a matter of time and taking his time to get better. So all the best, Steve, if you're watching this. Get better soon, and I'll see you soon. So thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next shaving video.